Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really great. So first of all, it's holiday season and I'm already feeling the vibes of it. It's so so cozy, so so cute. Everything is just so more pleasant and cozy. I know I get very happy during holiday season because you know Christmas, New Year, gatherings, outings, and everything seems so good. Like Mm -hmm. Yeah, so coming back to today's topic and today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my winter essentials in makeup and skincare slash body care as well. So yeah, I know I've been really MIA currently, but I have a lot of content planned for you guys. I'm going to be more uh, regular with my videos and yeah, there's a winter haul coming up really soon from Mintra. It's a, a Mintra sale haul, so stay tuned for that as well. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into this video. Alright, I've actually got a haircut and I'm actually obsessed with how short hair is looking on me. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments down below what you feel about my haircut and the makeup as well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start with makeup products because uh, makeup products excite us much more than body care, right? So yeah, the first uh, foremost product that I cannot you know a skip in my makeup routine during winters is max pro cream okay this is the product this is a beautiful product you have other brands that also you know have these pro creams which are much affordable but in my opinion max pro cream is hands down the best in the market uh, i've also heard that pack stroke creams are also very similar to the mac ones but i haven't tried them yet i am eyeing to buy those in the coming upcoming sales or something but uh, yeah for now stroke creams are my best friend during winters because well, i don't like you know uh, dry and matte makeups for winters so i really you know use max stroke creams in almost all my makeups i do like if i have to go outside on a party or something i use stroke cream because everything is so dry during winters that the makeup also tends to be very dry so i prep up my skin with max stroke cream very well for applying makeup and it gives you a very beautiful glowy finish and uh, yeah so this is my essential number one in makeup all right next i have another product from the same brand which is mac and it's their soft and gentle highlighter all right i love you know going for glowy and uh, rosy makeup during winter i love the feeling of that you know a uh, highlighting and glowing skin so for that i use the mac soft and gentle it is a very beautiful and super gentle highlighter it doesn't have you know big chunks which is something i really like it's really soft and gives you a beautiful beautiful glow so it's hands down a very good and very expensive highlighter but it's one of my favorites and hence i had to include this in this video and uh, yeah all right next i have two tints right here i love using uh, you know makeup tints during winters because they give you a very beautiful flushed pink rosy look which is something i am obsessed about for winters so what my makeup consists during winters is tints highlighter stroke cream sunscreen and that's all i go really minimal and really cute actually so yeah the first tint that i am obsessed with is the ilana beat tint it's a beautiful tint it gives you a very beautiful flushed pink look and i've used this in my one of my tutorials i think the everyday winter makeup look you can see how this looks on that video and uh, personally this is was this was sent to me by the brand for me to try but i've been loving the way this has been you know working and it has a beautiful pigment and a really great staying power as well so hands down this is one of my favorite tints i personally don't like the face shop tints uh, because they're not really good they settle really easily and they are hard to blend in comparison to that the ilana one is hands down the best liquid tint i've ever used so i will highly recommend you guys to give this one a try and the second tint i have is from eva all right this was also sent to me by the brand but um, honestly i've been loving their tints i have three shades and all of them are really pretty but my most favorite is the peach one because it gives you a more natural and a beautiful look you can see the color it is so pretty it gives you a peachy uh, look which looks really flattering i honestly don't really do much i apply sunscreen apply tint a bit of highlighter and i'm ready to go that's the glowy winter look that everyone 
those flowing winters and I think it's really really cozy and beautiful so yeah that's the tint all right another product that I cannot miss during winters is kajal all right because I love going for smoky and dark makeup looks during winter so if I have a party to attend a Christmas Eve or a new year party then obviously I cannot miss kajal because I love smoking out uh, you know my eyeliner and doing some smoky thing on my eyes so um, kajal is something that i cannot miss and i've recently been using this one from mama earth this is their mama earth charcoal black long stay kajal and i'm obsessed with their uh, pigmentation this is one stroke it is so buttery so good so affordable as well and it's really good honestly it has i think it has a long stay chamomile extract, vitamin C, and no toxins. And I think they're also uh, vegan as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think the product is really, really good. And honestly, it looks really nice as well. You can see the pigmentation. And as you can see, I love using, you know, um, casual to smoke out the eyeliner. And it looks really flattering, much more softer than a liquid eyeliner. But it looks really cute and hot. Not cute, but smoky hot in winters. So, yeah. All right. Now moving to the skincare slash body care part, I have first of all two lip balms from Mama Earth. So the first one is the Coco Tinted uh, Hundred Percent Natural Lip Balm. I love that the brand is really uh, you know natural. It is made up of products that are naturally derived, and plus they are I think also vegan. But I don't much sure about Mama Earth being vegan, but they use less chemicals, and the products that they make are actually really good. Honestly, I've tried body care from mama earth as well the face masks as well and i love them but um yeah they sent me the lip balms to try out and i'm also obsessed with the way they're working so uh yeah the one the first one is the coco tinted one which is a brownish tone lip balm i'm going to show you how this looks it has very minimal of pigment and tint to it but looks super natural and it is very nourishing the product stays onto your lips and helps to nourish it doesn't disappear after like few minutes of application it stays there your lips feel hydrated and plus this smells very nice this has a really beautiful chocolate coffee smell and it's so pretty you can see the pigment it has a brownish green pigment as well it has a bit of tint so there are days when i don't really feel like using lipstick and what i do is just apply sunscreen use the tint and uh, go with these lip balms either of them and they look really natural and they give you some tint as well so your lips look more good in appearance and they stay nourished as well so yeah i'm gonna also swatch this one this one is the cherry tinted 100 natural lip balm as well and I love the applicator as well because they are really easy to use and they are really soft. You can see the red one is more tinted than the brown one but both of them look really nice on the lips. This looks uh, more natural than this one. This gives you a soft red tint to your lips but yeah, they smell so sweet and I really really like them. I will be leaving the prices to the screen so you guys have an idea about the pricing as well because honestly I don't remember prices of everything. So, yeah. all right, my next winter essential has to be Boroline. Yes, you heard it right. This is the uh, OG Boroline. Like, a lot of you must have seen this in your home, and this is actually my most used product during winters. Boroline and Vaseline, both of these are my most used products during winters because they are really OG and they work really, really nicely. So, I use mostly Boroline for my cracked. So even if I'm an oily skin, I tend to get really dry during winters and I don't like the feeling of getting dry, patchy skin, cracked heels. So I use Boroline to heal my cracked heels and it works amazingly in getting rid of that. Um, like I don't get very dry heels or that stuff but I don't like the feeling of even, you know, when uh, you are sitting somewhere and or in the sofa and there is some crushing voice because of your, um, you know, cracked skin. I hate that. So I ensure of, you know, healing that with this. What I do is just I apply this overnight and in the morning. Everything is cool. You don't even feel like um, there is something. And it's really, really hydrating, really sticky, really heavy. So yeah, you have to use this with, uh, you know, a little bit of... <laughs> 
uh, what is that called? Like you have to use very limited quantity of it because it's really sticky and super hydrating. It is actually an antiseptic Ayurvedic cream but works amazingly healing cracks or dry skin. And if you have, you know, uh, black or dark elbows, it also helps in that. So I would highly recommend you guys to give this a try if you face any difficulties with that case. This will heal everything, trust me. My next winter essential is this thing right here. It looks really cute now. I know. This is the Dodden Key Velvet Body Butter in the variant Rose and Lavender. And honestly, the packaging is so cute. I love everything that's pink. Okay. And this is really cute. And I love the smell of this product. This is a body butter. I love using body lotions, body butters during winter. I also have their... Or body lotion as well and this is the body butter the body lotion is not that hydrating so i would say it's not a winter essential you can use that body lotion during summer or in autumn as well so it's not that hydrating but in winters you need something that is actually really moisturizing and heavy for your skin and uh, this is the product i've been using and i've been obsessed with it as you can see i've used quite a lot of it this was a uh, really full full up and i've used uh, quite a lot of it and i'm obsessed it smells really really good you will love the fragrance of this product trust me it is really really hydrating and the best part is that when you apply it it doesn't feel really heavy but it slowly starts to release the body oils of this like not the body oils but the oils present in the body butter and your skin feels really nourished and moisturized and that is something i really liked about the product it is really heavy in consistency as you can see this is the consistency of it and you can see it it just looks so good and moisturizing now like you can see that my hand looks a bit moisturized but this is going to become even more moisturizing after like 10 15 minutes and you will see that it looks more hydrated it has a beautiful texture and it is supremely hydrating so highly highly recommend this for dry skin people i'm an oily skin girl but i love moisturize during winters so i get really dry during winters and i hate that honestly but this product has been a savior i use this instead of a body lotion so whenever i'm feeling quite dry i use this instead of a lotion otherwise i use lotion normally but hands down this is really really good i also have a discount code for you guys if you want to buy lot of new products i will leave it on the screen for you guys and yeah Alright, the last product for today's video has to be this moisturizer. You guys must know this guy. Alright, this is the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Ultra Hydrating Lotion. And it is a 24 hour moisturization for daily use, non greasy, non irritating, won't clog pores, hypoallergenic for face and body, and suitable for all skin types. So, what do you else want in a moisturizer? So, I've been recently using this one, and that's why I bought the small size first to try it out. And honestly, I'm obsessed. Right. It is a beautiful moisturizer for oily skin and it's actually suitable for all skin types. It is hydrating, it doesn't clog the pores. It is so good that there's no other moisturizer that can match up to this one. Like literally, I'm speaking this, like literally on camera. Right. It is really, really hydrating. It feels really good onto the skin and feels light. It is hydrating, but it feels light, and that's the best part about this moisturizer. It is a bit um costly i think if i remember i don't remember the price of it but i think it was expensive and this is non-comedogenic non-irritating fragrance free dermatologically tested and it has all the goodness that you can ask for in a moisturizer i will highly guys recommend you trying this especially in winter because if you're an oily skin type what happens with us is that you know we feel really greasy and you know sticky oily in some ways but in winters we also tend to feel really dry and you know, if you're oily if you're oily then if you stay dry your skin glands become more active and you start producing more oil and become oily and we don't want that so in short you use a moisturizing and hydrating uh, moisturizer in winters as well so yeah these are all of my winter essentials mostly these are the main things i tend to use during winter and some of them may change like moisturizers i tend to switch between moisturizers i also tend to switch between body water and body lotions but this 
things that are constant remain constant such as tints, sunscreens and highlighters, stroke cream, everything is really constant during winters. And yeah, that was all about my winter essentials video. I hope you guys really found this helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, you might be hearing some construction noises because construction is going on and I'm really sorry if you find it disturbing. But yeah, since this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching till here. Have a nice day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And most importantly, take care and keep smiling. Bye guys.